Hello everyone. Today's video kind of just happened. You see, I had these on my desk. These are cards that I've made either in class or on my own. And I had a host of punches, punches on my desk. And I thought, how about we do a video that the uses all the punches. So this is what the video is. It's all the punches. Some of these cards might be created exactly as seen. Some of them are gonna be different. The other thing I also had on my desk is this beautiful, huge paper pack. It is the delightfully eclectic 12 by 12 designer series paper. And it has um, 48 sheets in it. Yep, 48 double-sided sheets of paper in there. And it is a variety. It is pretty awesome. So that is what I have used. I wanted to challenge myself to use that paper because I haven't really done it a whole lot. So let's go ahead and get started. By the way, I'm not sure if I introduced myself or not. Sorry. I'm Michelle with Michelle's Whimsy and Bling. And the two stamp sets that we're going to be using are the Hello Ladybug and the Inked and Tile. Uh, the Ladybug, we're actually going to use the Ladybug and um, out of this one, we'll use some of the sentiments and some of the other ones. So this card I thought was just awesome. Like, don't we all have little scraps of paper just hanging around? Well, if I could find my, I think this is it. And don't we all need a birthday sentiment? I know I do. I go through them a lot. So this is a thank you card. We're going to turn it into a birthday card and we're going for the bubble bath paper. It is such a pretty pink, I think, but I do like pink. So what we did is I took some paper out of that paper pack and there you go. We're gonna start with this one up here. This middle piece is a little bit bigger. And then we're going to add a little bit of this here. Now, these are flowers, so it is a directional print. Just make sure you have it going the right way and you cut it that way. Um, so you don't have to cut another sheet of paper. Can't tell you how many times I have done that. Mm -hmm. and then this we're going to use from our double oval punch. We use the bigger one here. We're gonna put our happy birthday on there. We're also using this beautiful, beautiful bubble bath coordinating ribbon. We're going to tie it there. So let's go ahead and use our liquid glue because liquid glue just seems to be a little bit easier to use. I'm gonna start with the middle one. Liquid glue allows us a little bit of time to get things situated. I'm not sure what that, nope, I don't wanna use that side either. All right, so we're gonna need to put it here and they should fit across like that. You know, sometimes when you cut, you get a little off and stuff, so no worries if you have to trim, no worries. We've all been there, done that. Oop, I almost went ahead and put the glue on that side. So be careful, we want it on this side. So we want to glue this side. Yeah, sometimes even I get all turned around. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to take this ribbon. One side is a little bit shinier and on this particular roll, the shiny side is on the inside. So when you get this roll, just be mindful of that. We're going to, we will not use all that, trust me, but we're going to use a little bit of our regular adhesive and then over here we're going to do a little bit you could also use scotch tape now if you've been around my channel a while you know that these are my ribbon scissors for 
for a while I did cut my ribbon with my other scissors and it would not make the very best cut and I am so sorry that you're going to now hear barking in the background. Yeah, sometimes leaves that fall in Rhode Island cause barking. And let's see, we actually want to go ahead, I think, and add a little, a little knot. Let's see if I made that long enough to tie a knot. And then can I remember where my glue dots are on my desk? Because that would be why, whoo, this is a struggle. I got some fat little thumbs in there. Mm. Trim that off. It does fray, so just be mindful of that, that you're probably going to have to trim the end. And that's not where my glue dot went. Oh no, where are my glue dots? Hmm, I don't know where my glue dot is. So this is what we're gonna do for the time being. We're gonna improvise and we're going to do that right here. No worries, that's what we're gonna do. So now we need to stamp our happy birthday. I'm really hoping that it shows up in the bubble bath Yes, this is quite the girly card, is it not? Now, on our sample, this smaller piece, uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> Apparently that did not want to hold. That happens sometimes. This piece is put up on dimensionals, and you can see I did Cut them a little, just a hair too big. No worries. I'm going to trim those off and let's go ahead and put this up on dimensionals. Put one right there on our ribbon. Always make sure you get your dimensionals in the middle so that your middle does not sag. I know I have unfortunately in the beginning of my card making journey sent out cards that sagged in the middle. I'm so sorry for those that got them, <laughs> but I just did not know. Just did not know. And after the video, I will have to come back and put a glue dot on my ribbon where the ribbon is attached to the card on the front just to hold it down so it's more secure. I don't know why I didn't think about putting them in there. So I'll come back and I'll put a glue dot down there and probably go ahead and put a glue dot on my little knot. So what we're going to do is attach it to our front and then we are also, yes, if you guess putting dimensionals on our tag, you would win the prize because that's what we're going to do. Now I think this will be, nope, let's just do as I say, just put the dimensional on there. And then just gonna go ahead and put that right there. Such a little happy birthday. We're going to bring out our iridescent pearls. They are so, so pretty. And then we have smaller ones and we have larger ones. Using our take a pick tool makes it really easy to get them. And let's see. Sometimes I just struggle with where to put them. So here you have it. Pretty easy design. And again, if you have scraps on your desk, use up your scraps, see how it would work. And we used our punch, our double oval punch. And there is card number one. Card number two is this one, which is the inked and tiled from stamp set. And we are not going to do it like that. We're going to, I don't know. Well, well, it will be similar, but it will not be in that color. And this one will be using our Misty Moonlight along with our Night and Navy ribbon. So the first thing that we need to do is 
go ahead and stamp this particular wavy background stamp on our background. Now, I didn't test this. I was just kind of winging it. So I'm hoping that this kind of shows up. Oh yeah, that will be so, so pretty. And when you're doing stuff like that, yeah, should have put something on there, but I didn't. You know, I usually do. I'm usually all about putting a piece of paper down, but I didn't this time. Anyways, where was I? Um, turn your stamp around so that it's not all matchy-matchy. Nothing's wrong with matchy-matchy, but sometimes adds a little bit more interest. Go off the paper, come back on the paper. And yes, I am filling it all up, but the middle piece will um, cover up some of this. So now I think I want to come back in and add just a little there, and just a little up here and over there. Okay, that looks great. Now, I'm gonna leave that open. Hopefully that won't be an issue. And what we're doing here is, I took honestly the same paper from last time and I used the two punches that the bundle comes with. It comes with the stamp and the two bunches and they are interlocking. <laughs> I know that seems like such a duh, but I did not realize they were interlocking until somebody pointed it out. And I went, oh, that's pretty much a duh. Remember on the last car where I said that this particular uh, pay, col um, not page, paper is de uh, does have a direction. So kind of make sure your flowers are pointing up. That is always helpful. Nobody wants a droopy flower. So we are just placing them where they're gonna be. And it's okay if they hang off. You know, our yellow ones are going to hang off. And of course, you know what I'm gonna be bringing back in as soon as I can lay my hand on it. In comes the dimensionals. Because, well, actually only three of the pieces, if we follow the card example, only those three pieces are undimensional. So we're gonna go ahead and put two on there. Oh, cannot. Apparently I took the tape part off one of them. No worries. All right, so let's go ahead and put these down first and then we can come back and glue in our other ones. You could certainly do it the other way. I am just striving to have them line up as close as possible, but I am okay if it is not perfect because that adds what people, that adds the whimsy to our card. See, you gotta have some whimsy. All right, last one. Uh-oh, <laughs> that's a little too much whimsy. We were literally kind of crooked there. I think I need to come up just a smidge. Here I telling you all about adding the whimsy and I'm struggling. All right, so let's add a little bit of glue. Make sure our flowers are going the right way when they go back down. Now, in hindsight, I should have either used a different background piece or I should have picked a different pattern of the DSP but I was kind of just using what I already had on my desk after I had been creating. So 
yeah but in hindsight if I had thought more I would have uh, used a different one because it does kind of blend in a little bit so we're gonna go ahead and put some yes people some more dimensionals now do you see why I need to order more dimensionals I'm going through them going through them and with the Christmas and other holiday season coming up I'm probably going to go through a lot So did y'all hear that I am going to start doing uh, Christmas in August and on Saturday, August 5th, I think it is, we are going to start our first video in the series. We're going to work with some tags. So, and that is in a three part series. So be sure to stop over and give that a watch. Now, here we are literally doing the lot oh no we're doing just a note and I use the the punch to do that use the bubble bath forgive my head I kind of had to be over it now this might be common sense to some but I went oh duh you could do that <laughs> by cutting this off and that's how you get that shape yeah sometimes sometimes and I think we're just going to do a little dimensional in the middle and then put some glue some liquid glue if I could find it on the other ends and that's what we'll do sure it's going the right way and we all right there you go now all we need to do is get that dimensional off uh, let's get our our knight and navy ribbon this is a beautiful ribbon to tie a bow into I have no idea how much I need hopefully this is enough if you've been around here, you know I struggle greatly with tying bows, and I'm not sure why I did not have the forethought to tie a bow in advance. I know when I first started going to my friend's classes, and she would have bows on like every single card, y'all, every single card. And I'm like, yep, it does not need to have a bow. Okay, so again, we are struggling with this bow, which is annoying to me. So you know what we're going to do? We are going to tie it in a knot. Sometimes a knot is just what it needs to have. And not sure which one. Okay, that, that way looks better. I cannot find my glue dots. I do not know where they are. So we're going to put some adhesive there. I will come back after the fact and put a glue dot on there. Give these a little trim. And, oh, we need to add our pearls because, you know, everything needs to have a pearl. As well as a dimensional. It's just the way it is. All right. And, you know, you could you could really do a lot of bling on this I think that would be perfectly fine so here you have it just another version of that card using the inked and tile stamp set along with the punches because this is all about the punches video and our final card is going to be this really cute ladybug and this one I think I actually did exactly the way it is because I really loved that daisy paper in the design or in the pack of paper and let's see I'm trying to get everything out all right so here's our card base and what we do on this is we are going to go ahead and tear our paper 
and we're just we're just gonna tear it just like that you want to tear towards you taking little teeny tiny strips and then um, make it you know you don't you can do it and try to do it in a straight line but it adds more interest if you add a little bit of up and down to it here I was doing a little bit too much straight line there and then we're just going to overlap that so we are going to put down the um, oh, that was not it put down the daisy first so that we can overlap the black one now I don't know where that particular black paper came from um, I did not see it in this uh, paper pack so I used one that was pretty close to it it had the same kind of feel it was black it had white things on it and I called it good sometimes you just have to use what you have now this particular circle was cut with the stylish dies I did not have that out remember I had out punches on my desk so I used the two and three eighths punch and here is our circle and then we are going to use our ladybug and we're going to cut or punch out the body in black and then if I could find ooh, where did it go all right so there's our ladybug and what I like to do I just find it's easier is I like to punch out my wings first and then stamp them with the little dots I just to me it is just easier to do it that way and I had black ink yeah I really do try to be prepared oops so did y'all hear that a new mini catalog is coming out for customers to look at and order from as of the beginning of September I'm not sure of the date off the top of my head but that is like so exciting now I will tell you I have been able to look at it and the designer series paper in it is like awesome I think I love just about every I did not need all that glue uh, I love all the paper in there and there are some sets that I'm like oh wow so I am excited about that okay we need dimensionals because you know we need to have dimensionals it's like apparently I seem to be the dimensional queen lately I don't know why I guess I'll deal with the dimensional versus a ribbon that's my thoughts so I'm not gonna press that down because I do need to stamp my may your greatest wish come true on here oh that was stamped good now if you have this black ink stored upside down so the ink will go to the uh, will be at the top of the ink pad otherwise when you go to use it it uh, might not be as good for you all right I'm gonna put this down here a little bit uh oh okay so we don't want our words crooked so we're just gonna have to do it like that now we're gonna go ahead and use our rhinestone basics and we're going to put those in our flower would love to use the big ones but I think for this because this card is kind of delicate in a way I think we need to use the smaller ones and there and then another one over here or actually again I struggle with where to put them we'll put it up here close to the flower so there you have it a third card using punches remember because this was all about the punches 
and the designer series paper can't remember what it's called delightfully eclectic it is a huge pack of paper and where was the other one where's the other card here is the other card so see how you can take one design and make multiple cards out of it so Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you're watching over on Facebook, please go ahead and give my page a like. Leave me a comment. You can go ahead and like the video. I really would appreciate that. And over here on YouTube, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Like the video if you found it useful or even if you found it funny. Or you're like, girl, could you stop using all the dimensionals, please? Um, and leave me a comment. Tell me how you like to use all of your punches. So thank you for watching. And remember, until next time, remember, be whimsy and add bling. Bye.